I was always told throughout my life something was wrong with me. So I was always determined to prove that I was fine on my own. And even if that meant I had to sleep in the car, that was the last thing on my mind is saying I need help because I didn't want to prove anybody right. My mom passed away and I ended up losing my job and getting evicted. And in the midst of all that, I ended up finding out that I was pregnant by my abuser. I was pretty much at my lowest at that point. I was at a battered women's shelter and I think I was about eight months pregnant and my belly was so big. In those moments, you just want the baby shower. You want those friends to come and rub on your belly and guess the gender and I didn't have any of that. I was really lost. The only bright light that I really had was the birth of my daughter. If it weren't for me going through what I went through, I wouldn't have her. She is my joy. She's the center of my peace and I just, I love that kid so much. So I had to do better. I had to give her a better life. And I can't give her a better life if I'm struggling, if I'm hurting. My daughter doesn't deserve that. Union Gospel Mission, it's just been a big place of peace for me. I've been to a lot of shelters. I don't even really see this place as that. I see it as a church. It just brought so much peace to me. So for me, it was kind of a shock. What they focus on is your mental and your spiritual first. I was here for 11 months. First three months, I did a lot of parenting classes, job readiness. They have a class for everything. Alpha is church service and Bible study put together, and we do that every Thursday. I would say if it weren't for Alpha, I wouldn't have made all the progress that I've made. I'm broken, and I'm lost, and I need help. And Alpha really kind of provided those answers for me. I finally was able to just sit down and breathe and say, Erica, what is the plan? What are we going to do? What do you want to do? I realized that I wanted to go back to school. I went back through a program that works with UGM called the Visions Program, and they literally paid for me to get back into school and pay for my books and my courses, fed us while we were there, gave us transportation. The help was always there. I'm at Tarrant County College on South Campus. Right now I'm going to school for business marketing. I'm working on my associates now, but I want to get my doctorates in something working with kids. And I'm just so proud of myself. It's great to just finally be back in my own space and to share that with my baby. It's refreshing to just have a long day of work and come back home, sit on the couch, watch TV, kick my feet up. I love it. One. <laughs> If it weren't for Union Gospel Mission, I would not be as motivated and inspired as I am right now. I can definitely say that. I want to walk across that stage and have my daughter see me. And I can just see her now clapping her hands saying, yes, mommy, and being so proud of me. I want her to see that the world is much bigger than Texas, than Fort Worth, than shelters, than struggling. The world is so much bigger, baby. And to let her know that she's capable of doing it. She can conquer anything. And that her mama's gonna be there for her. And I wanna raise this beautiful, amazing, brilliant person to be everything that I thought I couldn't be.